Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, we have Arclight Rumblings Episode 8, and as always, we're joined by Blue Max. How's it going, Blue Max? Uh, doing well, Mini. How about yourself? Doing fantastic. Enjoying the game. Enjoying life. Good. 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 I was at a uh, I was at a work conference last week, so uh, kind of kind of on the kind of on the low key right now. Yeah. But... I'm getting sure, back into the swing of things. I'm sure we'll get into the low-key nature of us uh, <laughs> here in a little bit. But sure. first, let's go ahead and hop into our first topic. I just want to talk about the uh, fog bug for a little bit, and okay. also the first strike modifier. So, if you haven't heard, um, since this most recent update, there's been a fog of war effect, which I'll try and put on the screen now, um, that kind of just covers your screen in fog. Uh, for whatever reason, it only affects certain devices um, at certain resolutions, mm -hmm. and it's been in game for a couple of weeks now. I want to say, um, without yep. much being done to fix it, and in some cases it's like okay, uh, and in some cases it's really bad, and it kind of just depends on what device and resolution you're playing on. Have you experienced this fog bug, Max? Uh, no, no, I haven't. I play on an iPhone 13 Pro Max and a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and I have not experienced that on any device. But, like you, I have heard that it can range from a nuisance to pretty much game-breaking. Yeah, pretty much game-breaking, um, which is unfortunate. The game has gone through mm -hmm. quite a number of bugs every update, it feels like. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's... Uh, okay, we're not going to be negative on the podcast. We still like the game. It's still a ton of we fun. Um, however, every single update they've brought out seems to, like, add new things and fix a couple things, but then break a couple other things. So I believe the start of last season, players couldn't play PvP for almost a month uh, because just some players, I think it was on iPhone specifically, and some affecting mm -hmm. Android... Um, mm -hmm. would just like disconnect you out of every single PvP game. Yeah. Um, which made it impossible to play that. Um, this update yeah. we have the Fog War bug. Um, and then specifically a bug that they have fixed in a couple of patches but keeps breaking is that Dracosaf will one or will hit Tyrion through his Divine Shield talent. Um, which oh. had. I'm pretty sure that it's been in at least two patch notes that that has been resolved, and it still it has it still is in the game. It also affects wow. uh, Murlocs um, with their safety bubble talent. If the Dracosaf hits one of them with the safety bubble, it'll go right through it. Don't know why, and it doesn't always happen. It's like I don't know the percentage of it, but it sometimes happens, mm -hmm. which is it's just weird to me. It feels like, and this is just. Complete speculation, I have no idea if it's true or false, but it just feels like mm -hmm. the patches and the new features of the game are not being tested before they're implemented. Um, another thing that we'll talk about here in just a minute is the, mm -hmm. the first strike modifier that was affecting spells, and it completely broke the meta for a couple of days before it was fixed, and we'll talk about that later, but it's just yeah. more and more things that lead me to believe that they're not actually testing the things they're providing for us um which is not great in all honesty um what are your thoughts max um so so i kind of I, I obviously get that impression too i i haven't had a lot of stability bugs with the game like like very few um but i'm also a network engineer and i generally in my home and in my work environment have pretty solid wi-fi um, it, it, it does seem like the game, the game, even, even when just doing a quest seems to really lose stability whenever your Wi-Fi or cellular, cellular connection is iffy. So that's, that's unfortunate. And I haven't seen that with a lot of other mobile games and, and mobile gaming has pretty much been my go-to platform for almost five years. Um, it does seem as if there are often regressions where something gets fixed and then a new patch is released that addresses a separate issue. And then the thing that got fixed previously um, breaks again. Um, 
my short term memory being what it is, I can't like pinpoint an exact an exact example, but I'm pretty sure anecdotally I've heard that from multiple sources. Um, you know, in terms of the testing, um, I'm I'm reasonably sure they're 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 testing and uh, things, or at least I would hope they would be. Um, I, I I don't fully understand I don't fully understand the dynamics. I know that when when I feel overworked a, as a network engineer, and and I am trying to put out fires in 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 every direction, I don't feel like I have the time to just stop and really test for every possibility um, before I apply a change. And so I end up, I end up breaking stuff and I'm, you know, it's a, it's a five second fix to go back and fix it. But it, I find it personally frustrating when that happens. Um, and so that's kind of the impression I get with what's going on with the patches in Warcraft Rumble. It's, it's just almost like, it's almost like they're operating on a skeleton crew um, in terms of applying patches. Hopefully that's because the rest of the development team is actively working on that content that we are all desperately looking forward to. Those are my thoughts. Yeah, I, I think I agree with all of that, to be honest. Um, and I, I also don't pretend to know the ins and outs of how it works. Um, I'm yeah. not in game design. I don't develop anything like that. Um, I just play the game. Uh, yep. But it is... I. I don't want to say frustrating. I'm sure it's frustrating for some players. I also haven't experienced any of like the big network connectivity bugs, the like yeah. disconnecting out of PvP game matches. I've been lucky to avoid a lot of those bugs. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't experienced the fog bug. Uh, it just seems like it's affecting different devices than what I play on. I play on a Google Pixel yeah. 7 Pro um, mm -hmm. and Blue Stacks when I'm streaming, but so far I've avoided those bugs. Though it. Yeah. it it does, I'm sure that it does get annoying, especially if you encounter every single one of these bugs. And it, oh. it does just feel like every patch, something new is breaking. And it's like, yeah. at some point, we should have a stable game. I'm just worried about when that point in the future is. Um, yeah. But, yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah. But I wish the but... Blizzard devs the best of luck in like ironing out all these issues. Um, oh, and... yeah. I mean, obviously, you want a fantastic game to play. Um, so, yeah. And it is a wonderful game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We've invested a lot of, we've invested a lot of time into it. I mean, that being said, like, as soon as I started thinking about this, uh, this latest modifier, the one uh, first strike, I immediately said, okay, surely they're going to make sure that this does not affect spells, right? <laughs> right? No, of course not. <laughs> So, if you didn't yeah. if you didn't know, the first couple of days that the first strike modifier came out, which says your troops deal double damage um, on mm -hmm. their first attack, uh, affected spells. Now it says non-spell minis deal double damage on their first attack. So, mm. if you weren't around for that, this is what the deck looked like. It's Charlga with chain lightning to make sure you don't die to sappers uh mm -hmm. one gold cost units in bandit uh vultures and raptors and an arcane blast to level up talent and basically on even level all you had to do was play arcane blast one two three and four on their base execute uh -huh. them and then do that one more time and they were dead um wow which is a, i mean it didn't leave a lot of room for counterplay <laughs> Um, and then yeah. especially if you were a level above their base, so like if you had a 10 mm -hmm. Arcane Blast and their base was level 9, you didn't need mm -hmm. the Execute, you just needed Arcane Blast. Um, wow. Which was pretty silly. Games were over in like 40 seconds, uh, if that, which was, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I know everyone hated it. Um, I really liked it. It was so <laughs> much fun. Games were so quick, and I think that's something yeah. that isn't necessarily... Like, I, I think enjoying that was more of a product of not super enjoying Heroes Resolve. Um, yeah. I I have said on multiple occasions that I enjoyed Heroes Resolve, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize why maybe that's not true until I played with this Arcane Blast deck. The games mm -hmm. in Heroes Resolve 
always go to overtime. There are no quick games. And while it's true that there were a lot of strong leaders in the meta, and you could kind of play pretty much whatever you wanted, yeah, all the games went to overtime. And I enjoy the faster-paced games, as it turns out. Um, oh. So this was, this was pretty fun for me until they fixed it. Um, but I don't think no. that that was a bug. A lot of people were like, no, it's bugged, it's bugged, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, the description for it before mm -hmm. it got fixed is your troops deal double damage on the first now it's uh, non-spell mini now it's non-spell yeah. mini and everyone was mm -hmm. everyone in discord was like no spells are not troops but if you look down here underneath the build it says we have collected 56 out of 56 troops um troops yep. are everything except for your leaders and so i think that once again they just didn't test it which is fine um they fixed it pretty quick and i enjoyed mm -hmm. how it was before it got fixed mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it, it just leads me back to like are they actually testing these features which yeah in my opinion no um but you can be your own judge of that and you know i'm i i could definitely be wrong and i don't know maybe they just didn't see that arcane blast would be powerful because it, it is a smaller group of people they don't have mm -hmm. the thousands of players that are playing this mm -hmm. game to like mm -hmm. to test for them right they couldn't miss things things slip through the cracks okay. when they test things but this this just felt like pretty pretty late um like it, it, it did it, it wasn't like oh a couple days later people are now using spells a little bit more because they do double damage <laughs> and then a couple, right, a couple right. days after that yeah. oh now everyone's using arcane blast on their base because yeah. it's really good um this was like yeah. immediately everyone was like blaring <laughs> yeah everyone was like have you arcane blasted your opponent's base today because it's really fun <laughs> yeah well you know what so just just shoot shooting from the hip here um i i think um i think i could volunteer the diablo gaming family uh we blizzard start releasing um pre-release the patch for diablo gaming members <laughs> and there's enough of us and we're all high level pvp players you know yeah. uh, i i think we could test it yeah. Oh, absolutely. It would be a ton of fun too. <laughs> it, it it would be. It would be, and it would provide for a more seamless and smooth transition for the rest of the community. Yeah. I I mean. Yeah. This is maybe a little off topic, but I I would definitely love the play test before mm -hmm. patches actually were implemented to make sure they worked. Um, yeah. So yeah. Let us know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're 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 a guild. We're a guild system of tryhards. You know, take advantage. Uh, take advantage. I, I feel like I'm Palpatine in episode uh, in Revenge of the Sith. You know, telling Anakin, you know, use my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I yeah, love it. Definitely. What a great mm -hmm. reference. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um. Okay. So yeah. First Strike is pretty fun. Um, it's still fun mm. if you haven't played PvP in a little bit. I know Heroes Resolve is still in the meta, but yeah. things like Welp Eggs and uh, Safe Pilot Sappers, mm -hmm. you have to be able to kill Sappers oh. or you'll lose on this meta because they still yep. deal double damage. And I'm, I'm okay with that. It makes games quicker. It means yep. games don't always go into overtime. Um, so yeah. games can be a little quicker, but still not as fast as Arcane Blast meta, which is oh. probably fine. I loved, I ended up loving the collateral damage um, enchanter mod with whichever it was. Mm -hmm. um, I loved how it sped up games and I loved how it either uh, punished or or rewarded people for tower taking. Um, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was actually great. Um, maybe I, maybe it's because I like Maya. Um, uh, re regardless, the key thing is I loved how it sped up the PvP matches. Um, that was a really good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so, so speaking of which, have you fired up PvP uh, lately? So I, I, I gotta go to confession time here. Um, I've played one match of PvP in the past ten days, and that was today, wow. um, a few hours ago. Wow. So I have not been, I have not been playing. Yeah, uh, I, that's how much I dislike Heroes Resolve. I have, well, I play when I'm streaming. 
I have mm -hmm. not played PvP outside of streaming. It's not that I don't mm -hmm. like PvP at the moment, but currently I just feel like Season 4 is a little bare bones, maybe. Um, oh, and yeah. there's not really any rush. Like, we still got 22 days left in the season um, uh -huh. before anything resets. So, like, I'm playing yeah. and I'm going to get to 20k, um, mm -hmm. but I'm just not super worried about doing it quickly, if that makes sense. No, 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 it does. And and, and I want to stress that I am pausing on the game. Like, I don't even do surges. I don't even finish all of my daily rewards if it's just a minor, minor, major tome. But I'm pausing the game. I'm not quitting. Um, I, I'm, I'm not quitting. Yeah. So I am, as far as surges and daily rewards go, I am in the mm -hmm. same boat. Like, surges, I don't do anymore. That I'm, yeah. I mean, you can see my gold total suffering for that, but I just don't find them fun like yeah. at all if there's something crazy in the shop like i've got this xp boost sitting here for 5k it's not a lot but it might be enough for me to mm -hmm. um go do one or two of my surge missions to move this harvest golem down and yeah. buy it with the 5k xp and we might do that later tonight um but okay. it's not something that i'm like super worried about missing like this thing has five hours left on it i'll probably do one of them to get that golem xp and that's it um, I'm also just kind of like logging on each day and checking mm -hmm. the missions on my daily reward mm -hmm. track. So here's a modest yeah. tome, a major tome, and a troop choice. If this doesn't mm -hmm. have a mega tome on it or gold, mm -hmm. I'm just not doing them. And, and it's, it's, yeah. it is not negative here. It's just the game is sorely lacking things to do and i know that's not that way for everybody i know people are still progressing through the campaign and their heroics sure. and on nixia and they're having fun at pvp and yeah their surges but just for me personally i just wish there were mm -hmm. more things to do and i think we're gonna get that soon you know we'll have to keep mm -hmm. our fingers crossed but definitely for now it's it, it's okay to take a break at least for me um and mm -hmm. and do something else um and I, I do look forward to playing some more and it is a mobile game so it's kind of rough to take that break um just because you want to be getting all of your daily rewards or you fall behind but at the cost of my sanity <laughs> i'm gonna go yeah. do other things rather than <laughs> oh and 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 you and me and and a lot of the players in diablo gaming we have jumped so far ahead of everybody that we can like like you know when you do the math and i know you, i'm sure you have you know that getting a minor minor and mega and mega tome no major minor minor and major that is like a drop in the bucket that is a fraction of a single percentage point for a single mini yeah um it's just i'm not losing any sleep over it um yeah and and um and a fair a, a, a handful of players from Diablo Gaming have fully quit, but that's a very small percentage. Uh, a much larger percentage of players have simply said, "We're not, we're not pushing, we're not being, you know, super tryhards right now. We're just uh, taking a break because, to your point, uh, this was a very bare bones update. Um, almost everything in the update was positive for players that are trying to catch up, but we were in the game since soft launch." Um, okay we're just we're months ahead and so there isn't much for us to do and that's okay that's okay um i i've actually been playing another game um i'll mention the genre i'm playing kind of a kingdom build game um and it has uh it's definitely giving me all of the uh you know lovely endorphins that apparently i need to sustain myself mm -hmm. um but it's also it's also giving me tons of ideas that rumble rumble could easily incorporate into into the game let me rephrase blizzard could incorporate into warcraft rumble uh without having to create whole new modes or fundamentally restructure the way the game is played okay um, what about you um i have i mean in my i did just mention i've been taking a break uh, from this game mm -hmm. in my off time i have also been playing another mobile game um nothing okay. crazy like we're, I'm, we're not going anywhere we're still making content and enjoying rumble but in yeah. the off time, I've been playing another mobile game. It's not a kingdom builder. It's like a progress your character style of game where mm -hmm. you get 
power by doing certain things in the game and uh you just progress through levels and it's it's been pretty fun but um mm -hmm. you said it, yours is giving you ideas for uh things you can do in rumble so what are some of those ideas max okay sure so let me start out by presenting a a problem what it, he, i'm here's something that you have complained about on numerous occasions you hate running quests and, you know, and getting XP from just running quest after quest after quest because it feels so meaningless, mm -hmm. uh, right? Yes, because okay. the XP is so low and because doing quests and completing quests then makes mm -hmm. your future quests harder. And so the best way to yes. do them is to do a handful and then lose a bunch and then do a handful yep. and lose a bunch. And I don't know yes. why that is the way that it is. That is wild to me but we won't get into that anymore because we've already sure. touched on it in sure. so many other videos <laughs> sure it, it sure it's it's boring but um but what what if what if what if you had a calendar of daily events you know that ran like a month long or two weeks long or whatever it is and certain days out of the week you do um we'll call it xp rush where there is a a individual and guild leaderboard tracking how much XP people are gaining from quests. So suddenly, I've got a reason. If I'm a tryhard and I like seeing my name on leaderboards and, and, and give, some, give some rewards for the top players, suddenly now I have a reason to run as many quests as I can. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a competition. Who can get the most XP? Yeah. I, I've preached about it forever um and just, i mean not not like an xp event like that where you have a leaderboard but just like mm -hmm. pvp leaderboards where you get rewarded at the end of the season based on your ranking mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. that's i feel like it's good for everybody you get meaningful rewards that can help you progress your account or maybe like cosmetics mm -hmm. or different things but yeah uh yeah the tying it to other events is great too the game i'm playing has um a week-long event every week Mm -hmm. that is kind of the same where you get rewards for doing certain things um mm -hmm. and then at the end whoever did the most of a certain thing mm -hmm. gets prizes on a leaderboard system so like first second yeah. third fourth through 10th 11th through 20th 11th uh, through 20 yep yeah things like that same um and same I've, I've been really enjoying it and then they also have another event that goes alongside it that is a shorter mm -hmm. period of time i think it's three days mm -hmm. um every week which mm -hmm. same thing do a certain thing get rewards for it um yes and it's i mean it is fun and fantastic and it makes you want to play the game but mm -hmm. i mean it makes you want to play the game but not like want to spend all day on it if that makes sense um and i know it does i know that pve events were teased in the trailer of the season we don't know when mm -hmm. those are coming. We don't know what they consist right. of. So I think being able to provide ideas, especially in forms mm -hmm. of like in this podcast uh, that maybe they'll listen yeah. to, uh, maybe get some mm -hmm. ideas from, I think maybe we can help them in the right direction potentially. But if it's just like, it's hard in this game, you know, because everything has mm -hmm. to revolve around a mission and you playing minis, which obviously is great and fantastic. But mm -hmm. Don't don't make the mark fight surges again. They need, there needs to be something better than that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, like 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 in the game I'm playing, you know, your your kingdom has a certain power level, and that power level is based upon how many troops you have, how many buildings you've upgraded, how many technologies you've researched, and and so so I could look on the ranking boards and see that okay, on the server I'm playing, I'm ranked number, you know. 200 or 400 mm -hmm. and i'm ranked number whatever uh within within the guild um you you could you could easily do that we have collection levels mm -hmm. we have collection levels in warcraft rumble now of course right now they're bugged to where as soon as you hit 51 it never goes any higher but if that was corrected you could easily have a global ranking uh, system just for collection level that's just that's just something that would be fun or or how about how about an event where I mean, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to do this, but no. um, you know, but some some of our some of our guild mates would uh, love to have a, a a ranking board for how much money you spent in the grid. I said money, oh, gold, coins. 
that right i i okay maybe i don't know i feel like some of yeah i feel like some events are better left undone <laughs> you know i don't need events that are yeah. like encouraging people to swipe their credit card as much as they can um mm -hmm. but in my game that i'm playing guild uh -huh. systems are very flushed out there are guild yeah. wars there are raid bosses there's a raid yeah. boss that is like a solo thing where you compete to do damage but um mm -hmm. and you get put on a leaderboard for your guild but really yeah when you deal a high amount of damage to the boss you're bringing back treasure mm -hmm. chests that everybody can claim and so yeah everyone is getting something for you doing mm -hmm. a large amount of damage um they have a guild shop where you can mm -hmm. go spend coins from your guild Same. to buy progression items which is awesome yeah. and then the higher level yeah. your guild is the more of those items are available to you at different discounts yes it is really solid there is a lot you can do like all the activities in the game um you uh -huh. can ask for help in your guild from guildmates mm -hmm. and they can go and help mm -hmm. you it is it's just yeah. so flushed out there's so much to do guilds are so important in that game and mm -hmm. i just feel like warcraft rumble also needs some of that because yeah man it is it is rough for guilds oh. right now we're like oh uh, yeah <laughs> i i kinda, yeah oh I kind of want to scroll through here. This is our guild chat, but mm -hmm. the only thing we talk about here is welcoming new people to the guild, which we have like a kind of like a promotion and demotion system in Diablo gaming. Mm -hmm. But other than saying mm -hmm. welcome, it's really just spamming emotes for the most part. Yeah, no one, no one talks in our guild chat. Um, there, well, there, 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 bit, there's nothing. There's mostly, there's nothing to do. Yeah, it's mostly. Discord. I mean. Yeah, and and even with the um, even with the change of how PvP crests are earned, we were still done. We were still done with all the you know the 30k rewards within four or five days. No, less time than that. And now we've got to wait five and a half weeks to do anything guild related. Yeah. yeah. And in this other game I'm playing right now, there are like same situation guild events going on constantly constantly going on things to do you know like you said you know if a guild mate you know defeats a defeats a, a some some form of boss everybody in the guild gets the reward mm -hmm. it's small yeah. but it's something yeah yeah absolutely. it's um so so the here's the key thing the reason we're still playing warcraft rumble is because it's got good bones it's got a good foundation it has a fantastic foundation. The, the gameplay and the mechanics are incredible. Um, the bugs obviously suck. The balance at times isn't so great. The animations, the animations are, are you know, the, the, the sprites, the movements, um, all of that is so well laid out. Um, it's got a great foundation, but it is, there's no furniture. There's no, there's no photos on the wall uh, or uh you know wallpaper now it sound like i'm from the 80s but <laughs> you get the idea it's like you've got an empty house and the house is beautiful but we need decor we need lots of decor yeah and yeah. and once again we're not saying all of these things uh to be negative and be like oh this game that we're playing has way more cool things than rumble we're just saying these things mm -hmm to try and provide some sort of feedback, some ideas, different things yeah. that we're looking for in the game uh, that we think would make it better. Um, Absolutely. I, I, I know that we said, I, Max was like, hey, let's have a leaderboard event for who can spend the most money in the grid. I would rather have events that are like the number of quests you do and then like, I things that reward meaningful rewards without making you want to spend money if that makes sense why can't we do why can't we do all of it uh that's i you know i'm just i'm that's, just pulling out ideas no that's fair uh, again i'm not going to i'm not going to participate in that in that in that event um no just is not <laughs> going to but i'm just saying i'm just saying there's all sorts of ways that you can encourage people and if you make it a guild if you do make if you did if you did make that grid spending um event uh guild related mm -hmm. then yeah if you've got someone who's got flexible income and they want to bless the whole guild 
um, mm. you know, by by kind of carrying carrying you to higher reward tiers, then mm -hmm. great. That you is, see, so there's... That is also something, sorry to interrupt you, but that is something yeah, no, no. that the game I'm playing does, actually. So whenever somebody in your guild um, mm -hmm. accomplishes something for the first time, they clear a new mm -hmm. level, they get a certain rarity yep. of armor or pet or skill, um, or even someone on the server does something really cool, they get mm -hmm. a gym box, gyms are your premium currency, that okay. they reward to the whole server, and all you have to do is go into chat, click their gym box, and you mm -hmm. get a certain percentage of the gyms in that box, and everybody gets awesome. something, and it's so cool. It's and it, they, They're not, like, rare. These aren't things that, like, you're getting a couple of a day. I bet I could log on right now, and I would have at mm -hmm. least 20 of them to claim. Holy moly. Yeah, it's yeah. it's really good. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, these are just some ideas that we thought that we would talk about. Uh, yeah. Like I said, not being negative, just providing feedback and hopes mm -hmm. for the game in the future. Um, yeah. Max, is there anything else you'd like to add before we head off for the uh, evening? No, I think, uh, I, I think we covered it. And, yes, I, I want to reiterate what Minnie said as well. Um, we're not we're not saying this in a spirit of criticizing the game or saying this game we don't like it. Um, we do like it. Uh, we both said we're pausing. We're not we're not being super tryhards right now because there's not anything to do. But we are eagerly looking forward to um, the events that have been teased so uh, so mysteriously. We're looking forward to it. It's Absolutely. a wonderful game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Super excited for what's to come. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'll be here making content for it. Um, gonna keep on the podcast. Gonna keep on making guides and videos and things for you guys. And appreciate you guys being here. Um, so, Minnie, I, I do want to just make a real quick plug uh, to those of you who are subscribed to my channel, and you've noticed a, uh, I have not been putting hardly any content out. Um, that is not that should not be interpreted as a loss of interest in content creation, but just kind of a. Kind of a shift, uh, a shift in circumstances. I've got a lot of work projects that have been uh, coming up, and just uh, family, family related, family related situations that have come up where I just have to put family first. And so, as those things uh, calm down, you should expect to see more, more content from me in the future. Awesome. Well, happy to hear it. Yep. I can't imagine a Warcraft Rumble creator universe without Blue Max. So. Hopefully you come back strong and give us some awesome content. <laughs> well, ho hopefully so. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And with that, we are off. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a small channel like ours grow. So thank you very much for being here, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.